Nice one, Steve. Oh my God. What? Oh, Jesus. I like it a challenge, that's what it is. I just like it to be tough. I like to earn my bar of chocolate in the evening. Sting in the tail. Oh, it looks like it's gonna all fall to pieces. What? You've got to put yourself in the place in order to start digging really deep. And, and I do really give it everything. <laughs> so yeah, tenacity, that's, that's my thing. That's my bag. What we got ourselves into. I, I think I got to, I, I, I abbed in and got to the bottom and chatted to Steve and we both agreed it looked desperate. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it, it looked a bit harder than we were expecting. But an adventure. I can't see anything. Yeah, we've definitely had a few adventures over the last few years together, which has been, it's been great to do that. He's just, yeah, he's so experienced at this sort of thing, he's just not phased by it at all. Just quite happy, questing off down an overhanging wall. <laughs> I'm always going to be tired when I get back from a trip with Steve. Tree climbing. Oh. oh, that was a hard pitch. Oh. Okay, Steve, safe! A bit worried about what the rest of it's going to entail. So we'll see. Steve, go on. Quite, it's quite damp in here. I can see a hole, but I think it's too wet to use. Oh, it's just soaking. Not oh. off. Oh, it's drenched. The guidebook it's suggested totally that we were on a 7B through a roof. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was a proper roof. It was massive. And I was thinking, what? Like, this looks like the hardest 7B in the world. I don't know, I'm gonna get up this thing. The only way it could have been 7B was it was a harder line of buckets up it and it, it didn't look like it. We both knew that it, it was gonna be hard. Sighting technique is, it's, it's not very, it's not very organised, it's more like just 
get on with it and hope for the best. Well, no, not hope, just try as hard as I can really, like see what inspires me and, and go for it. There's not much preparation. I think part of it is trying to not let the pressure get to you. Because if you let the pressure really build up, it starts to become really stressful. I, I think I've kind of passed over that now. It's, it's all about just the fun and, and just giving my best shot. And if I don't get it, then it doesn't matter. I think tenacity is probably my biggest asset, to be honest, above like anything else that anybody thinks. Like finger strength, no, that's not relevant. It's all about hanging in there right till the end. I find myself almost falling, falling into a, a personality which maybe I wouldn't have expected myself to be in. But I'm, when I'm in that mode, in the zone, it's just, you know, I really want it. Like everything's going in, everything. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised that I can pull that out of myself because I'm generally quite relaxed. But when I'm on it, I really want it. And that's when the tenacity comes flying in. Ow. <sighs> You're kind of flirting with injury, I guess, to a certain extent, because you are trying to drag out even more from yourself than really you probably should do. Jesus, what? That was the easy pitch. Oh my God. That's me done. Good night. Both my parents keen climbers. They're really quite healthy. They do a lot of walking. They're always out in the outdoors. So I think I kind of inherited that from the start, really. I mean, we came here when we were seven, eight, nine, ten years old, and it's just a playground for kids out here. It's amazing. Obviously, the cliffs are too big, but there's so much other stuff. There's like small places to climb, but then just France as a whole. We've got like the lake. They've got the river, the gorge walks, the beautiful weather. You know, we loved it. We just ran around like maniacs and we had the time of our lives. That really sets the scene for all of my trips here in the future. I could spend my life here. You said you kind of let go of sort of needing to perform so much. Was that kind of like an anxiety almost? Like? No, no, definitely not. No, like I don't feel as though I've lost the desire to perform. What's happened over the, the recent years, I guess, is that my life has just kind of like become, it's, it's found so many different directions that the, the need to be at my best and at my cutting edge isn't the most important thing. There's so many other things now. So I'm here in the Verdon and I'm looking through the guidebook. I'm looking for a challenge, but it doesn't have to be like the hardest thing that I can climb. It, it needs to be for me the best thing. So it's changed from the hardest to the best. Now some days the best might be the hardest, but it doesn't need to be. And that's a, a, a real marked change from a point in my life where I had to be climbing as hard as I could climb in order to get the best day out of myself. It, it's definitely changed quite a lot. But I, I don't think it's... Uh, I definitely, definitely wasn't making me unhappy. No, not a chance. I, I mean, possibly it was getting me a bit stressed, but no, I was thriving on it to a, to a certain extent. I was loving it. I've just sort of changed. I think having kids makes you realise there's like a lot more out there and it, they put things in perspective and it, it's yeah, it's a bit of an eye-opener really. In 10 years from now you know I'll be 
I'll be a bit of a, an old codger. To be honest, in 10 years from now, I see myself pretty much exactly the same. I, I can't see much difference. I see me spending lots of time with the family, lots of time on trips like this. And I'm, the more I move on in climbing, I just see myself wanting those adventures. So here we are. Kind of back where it all started. Feels quite sort of unnerving really. It looks steep. So we're back in the the Cue de Coco area for the Verdon Gorge. And this is a, a route which I first did way back when I was 17. It was the first route that I ever red pointed. But it was a complete shambles back then. I didn't know what I was doing. I led it on two nine mil ropes. Didn't have any quick draws pre-placed. Didn't really practice it. I just sort of did a rubbishy top rope and then thought, right, yeah, let's have a go, see what happens. Managed to somehow flick my way up it. And then, and then I didn't red point anything else for seven or eight years for my next real sport route. So it was a big gap. Oh yeah, oh, it's full of mud. So I'm coming back now just to have a look and hopefully not get totally spanked. Hopefully I'll see that I've got a bit better, but for me it's, I don't know, it's got a bit of sentimental value really, because the route was, I mean, it's super, super good. It sort of sticks out as an amazing vertical wall climb. There's no other routes around it. It just blasts at the middle of this wall. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, I don't think I can pull it. Yeah, this looks like where it gets hard. <laughs> Jesus! That was hard. Nice one. That was really hard. Nice. Hope it gets easier, quick. How do you keep the love going for it? For this kind of stuff, you, I don't think you can ever lose the love for this kind of thing. I mean, this is why I climb completely. Like, it's got everything. I think it's all about the sort of the technical movement. It doesn't have to be like powerful. It's just you just got to move over the stone. You got to figure it out. It's like some kind of crazy, complicated crossword. Constantly trying different ways to figure it out. And when you piece it together, it's like you've just got enough. And when it works like that, it's just the best. So, like, no, I can see myself trying this kind of climbing till till I drop. Really, how do you keep the love? <laughs> I think a lot of people lose it. I think, I think to keep on climbing hard, pushing yourself, you know, there's, there's a lot of things to do in life. There's lying on the beach, reading nice books, drinking coffee, hanging out. But yeah, more of this, please. I mean, how else could you find yourself hanging out above the Verdon Gorge other than being a climber? I mean, lucky really, aren't we? Wow. Blow a nail. Is that only 7C plus? Flip it heck. You were good when you were a kid, weren't you? Flipping it was great when I was a kid. Flipping heck. I wonder what I was doing then. So I'm kind of interested to see what happens higher up, because if it's any harder, then we'll be going down, like that stone that's falling down now. <sighs> Neil's going to love it. Luckily, his pitch is next. 7C plus, I believe. That's three grades harder than that. Been 
climbing with Neil since God, way back, like 10, 12 years. Since he just started out, really. But yeah, we've, we've made a good team. We, we, we climb in similar styles. We're not relying on strength so much. It's more like technique, body position, all that kind of stuff. So we get drawn towards the same kind of climbs. He's a, a traditionalist at heart, same as me, so we're, we're looking for lines, really, and technical movement rather than climbs that are just yarding. I think it's really important to be drawn to the same stuff, you know, like routes like this. You know, we want to have an adventure together. That really makes the difference. We've got to work together. It's not just about climbing. It's about the whole thing. Okay, Steve, safe! Mind you, I hope I can steal his food later. Stiff grading. 7B. Well, it's not 7B, is it? More like 8B. Whew. I think it's a flake of rock. Are you going to be able to get back up? It's, it is very good, but flipping heck. It's quite tiring. I'm going to sleep well tonight, <laughs> every day. It's good though. Bring it on. Nice, Steve. Go on. Oh, shit. You right? Yeah, I've got cramp in my arm. A great start. <laughs> This is horrendous. Everything's cramping up. My little finger keeps stopping working. Come on. Ah! Bollocks! Broke a fucking hold! Ah! Ah! Damn it! Ah! Broke a bloody hold off. Snapped a hold off. Hold off. Snapped a hold off, yeah, right at the last bit. Oh, bollocks. Right on the last bit. That was... God, knackered now. What a day. Pretty good, though. Oh, I don't seem to have got any equipment. Uh, quick out. I'm back in again. There we go. I'm safe, Neil! Okay, Steve, off Billy! Another good pitch. It's a, a, a route of many good pitches. Quite an adventure, I feel like. I've earned my tea tonight. I'm after another pizza. Is that allowed? 
Two pizzas in a row. I must admit, I did enjoy all that. Even the snapping off of the photo at the top. Caught me really by surprise, that. Felt really in the zone. I felt, I thought I was gonna just stretch across that pocket, but then bam, straight off, totally surprised me. But that, I was quite tired at the top of there. For the first time in my entire life, I actually got cramp in my bicep, which I've never had before. Just suddenly just went bleh, that was it. Okay, Neil, on Billy! Right hand pinchy thing. It's like a dish. It's a, it's above like a pocket. Looks like a really good pocket. Yeah. Out to that one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Snap the foothold off. <laughs> yeah. And oh, a man. big big span up. Oh, good job. <coughs> yeah, that's a good old. I might even be on the tree at this point. Massive oh, journey. <sighs> Tired now. Yeah, that's been right.